easier way to do that. If you actually got a framing square, if you're in construction, you'll know what this is. The cool thing about this framing square is you can get it at the exact. So all I've got to do is just put it on the edge of the tank, use the top of it, and then I can use the measurement of the inside of the framing square to get it exactly where I need it. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. And we're back here at the beautiful gray quarry to do some diving. I actually got my daughter behind camera and I got a good friend of mine from out of town coming in diving with us. But I wanna make a quick video real quick and show you a neat little side mount trick. Now, if you're a side mount diver, depending on how you rig your system, you know that you've got to have your bands a certain width on your tank. Well, here on my gear, I use basically loop bungee systems for my side mount, and I clip the bottom of my bottles off here with a D-ring. Now, to measure that, basically what I do is I put the system on, and I'm going to measure down where I want the top of the tank and where I want the bottom of my band system on my tank to be based off that D-ring. Well, if we look at a tank real quick, it, it tends to be a little difficult to do that. So a lot of divers, what they'll do They'll take a tape measure and they'll try to hold it at the right height and measure down to get their bolt snap in the right place. Well, I'm gonna show you a much easier way to do that. If you actually got a framing square, if you're in construction, you'll know what this is. The cool thing about this framing square is you can get it at the exact. So all I've got to do is just put it on the edge of the tank, use the top of it, and then I can use the measurement of the inside of the framing square to get it exactly where I need it. And this has actually helped me out in the past because of the systems we use. It's very quick. I can just stick it up there. I don't have to sit here and hold tape and get another diver to help me. I can literally just square up the square, just like so, top of the valve, flush with the tank, and then I can slide my strap up and down to get it exactly where I need it for adjustment. So that's our neat little side mount tip for you today. If you're having difficulty getting it just right, it's where you don't have to do trial and error, go get you a frame and square, or get you just a right angle piece of wood, if you will, and you can do the same thing and measure down and mark it, then you can use a tape measure. But the framing squares work for me. I think it'll work for you as well. But if you like this quick tip, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. If you got any questions on, say, side mount diving, drop it down a uh, question down in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer it quickly and as best as I can as well. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.